Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. Right, so we've bought a couple of new things. We have got a hydraulic bale grab. This is to replace our very old bale spike. We've gone for an all but bale grab supplied by the awesome guys at Shaman's. And we've bought a Kuhn PZ190 drum mower. The idea is we're gonna start cutting some grass for hay in a couple of days time. This will be going on our Ford 7710, but there is a slight little issue, which I'm about to show you guys. So the 7710 is still in the workshop after having a few bits done. It's had a new radiator, new hoses, different bits and pieces, which I think I've explained in a previous video. The only thing left to do now is the aircon compressor here needs realigning. But the problem I've got is to do with the wheels. So as you can see, the wheels are set quite wide. This is for our tram lines, which means that they're set too wide for the mower. We'd be rolling grass at this width. So what I've got to do, simply, not easily, but simply, is swap the wheels over from left to right, and that will bring them in a nice way. And obviously we're swapping them round so the treads stay the same. I mean, you could argue you only need change the two on the side that you're mowing, but then obviously your treads will be wrong. So I think it makes sense for this job to uh, swap them all over, and at least that way it's right. But yeah, we did measure it on the mower from the top link pin to the first drum is about a meter. And on this tractor from the central point there, a meter brings you to about here. So there's about six inches that we need to go in. But I think switching them around like that, you'll gain a lot more than six inches. You'll bring it in and um, yeah, be perfect for the mower. So that is this morning's job. Gonna we'll start with the front. The wheel nuts have this kind of washer on, so I've got to make sure I don't lose any of those. So if you look at the discs, you know, the centers and the shape of them, if you put this wheel on the other way around, i.e. on that side, which is what we're doing, the wheels are going to sit further in. Right, so this one is going over to this side. Right, so the front wheels are swapped over now. I've just measured it. We've come in a few inches on the front here, which is good. Gotta get the uh, wheel nuts talked up and uh, yeah, be on to the back ones. Just put the tractor in the middle of the uh, shed, so there's a bit more space to do these back ones. I'm probably gonna need Dad's help to get these ones done. But just before I took this wheel off, our aircon man who came up to do our JCB fast track air conditioning, which needed regassing, he came in here and realigned the aircon compressor. This pipe here was actually touching there, and I've said before, we've had problems with the aircon belt slipping off. So I think now it's been realigned, fingers crossed, that aircon belt's gonna be all right. He's also retentioned it as well. I'm definitely gonna want good aircon when I'm out haymaking. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The aircon in the old Fords, it is the best.
Are you on wheel nut juices then, Dad? Yep. I think we'll come out with that. Just. <laughs> Let's get this along. Straight round with it, so. Right. Can you go a little bit on your side then? There we go. So it's a good take it off. Yeah, AC90. Yeah, that, it's not too claggy like uh, Composite. Or oil, it sort of mostly evaporates actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just helps. Are we okay? We're okay. Good. Down a little bit. Down a little bit, don't mind. Keep going. Whoa. We have two bars. <laughs> Thank you. Ready? Yeah. We're safe now, Nick, that's like this. Yeah. But uh, rocks are good, and we've got two jacks, but I, I think we need two dedicated tractor jacks. Yeah, I think we do. Uh, three weeks ago, I saw an article in the Farmer's Weekly, so I thought, I've kept it. It's got some really good um, jacks for tractors. Right, that's what we want. clearance sprayers. Yeah. And axle stands, all the things you want for safety. I think before we do any changing, we'll, we'll look at that. And that'll be a very sound, sensible investment. It'll be a very good investment, yeah. Safety first. I think, um, yeah, we're removing equipment. Yes. We need, it needs a bit of an upgrade, I think. It does. <laughs> That's good, so we'll just tighten these up then. Yeah, we've got to tighten these up. I think we've accomplished what we set out to do. If you look at that now, yeah, they have definitely been brought in quite a quite a bit, look. Oh gosh, yeah, first for cutting. It won't be any good for going up the tram <laughs> No, but to be honest, it's probably not gonna. The tractor might not go up tram lines. It might not do much more arable work. But yeah, it's, it was sticking past the mud guard quite a bit. Now it's, now they're just, you know, they're tucked in, aren't they? Look, it's not a big job changing back again. No, it's not. Uh, probably on a cooler day. On a cooler day, yeah. We, uh, we chose the hottest day to do this. Bye, Dad. Thanks for the help. He's gone mowing. Left me to do the wheel nuts. <laughs> Don't think I would have done those back ones on my own. Blooming heavy there. Obviously, there's no covers on the tractor. Our man Ray, who um, has been doing the work on the radiator, he's coming back tomorrow to finish off and put everything back together. It's safe to run, so I thought I'd go and get the mower on ready. So I've got the mower in transport position at the moment. I know a lot of the big mowers fold up the side, but this one folds out towards the back. And then to pull it back in again, there's a pin just here that you can pull out with um, some string for safety. And then, yeah, this just pivots round to this side of the tractor. It does seem like a good mower and I'm looking forward to giving it a go. But if there's one thing I really need to do this afternoon, I've got to clean those windows. I've got to be able to see what I'm doing, eh? It's a Mr. Muscle job, I think. We've normally got some on the shelf, but can't see any. I'll have to go and pinch some from the house then. Right, that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. So take it easy, guys, and we'll see you all in the next one.